How do we feed an island? What about the Caribbean? Can the region provide for its people in the future? Is there any way that we can do this sustainably? What would truly sustainable agriculture look like? Imagine that this greenhouse provides Stacia with local, fresh food every day, all year round. When you look inside, you find a food producing ecosystem with fish swimming through channels and mushrooms growing under fruit trees. This is Island Polydome, our vision for how agriculture can be made more productive, socially equitable, and truly sustainable on Stacia, throughout the Caribbean, and even around the world. At Accept Integrated Sustainability, our mission is to create the foundations of a sustainable future. Agriculture is one of our key priority areas. Industrial food production is focused on growing single crops on large tracts of land and then shipping them around the world. But this generates far-reaching problems for islands dependent on imported food, draining money away from local economies and fostering food insecurity. Food transport is subject to the problems of other economies, to short-term delays and to longer-term disruptions. Long, complex logistical chains, already under stress, create waste, drive up the price of food, and reduce the availability of perishables. Nutritional values of food are lower, and the choice for the consumer is limited. Most imported foods are also highly processed, contributing to obesity, the primary cause of illness and death in the Caribbean. A team from Accept came together to develop a smart, polyculture-based solution that would address all of these problems. We set off on a year-long research trajectory. We visited farms, interviewed experts, and developed databases on over 400 agricultural products. With this knowledge, we created a process for designing highly productive greenhouse ecosystems. We co-located crops and animals based on their resource preferences. We layered hydroponic production with soil-based crops. We envisioned internal logistic systems to simplify harvesting and processing. We beneficially coupled material flows between products. Island Polydome can produce a large variety of high-value products for local and regional sale, creating interaction with the community and improving market response to local demands. This consistent access to fresh local produce increases food security, reduces transportation costs, and improves the health and livelihood of island residents. But Island Polydome is much more than simply producing food for one island. It is an opportunity to be at the technological forefront of agriculture, one of the critical challenges facing the world. It can stimulate high-level education and research. It can create cutting-edge vocational and entrepreneurial skills, allowing opportunities to export knowledge, expertise, and experience around the world. It's also a platform for other sustainable technologies, such as water purification and solar and wind. Taken to its full design capability, we can achieve something truly remarkable, net zero impact food production. Island Polydome is an opportunity to put Stacia at the center of a new industry, to become part of changing the dynamics of food and agriculture around the world, to create local industry expertise, and to become a critical hub for research, development, and education. <music>